Welcome to another update, Gardening with Cash today. And I'm gonna show you some things going on in the garden, um, show you what I was able to harvest today slash the last couple of days, and give you a little story. So, I've told y'all in a previous video that the deer got me. So I put out some deer repellent. That worked temporarily. And then I'm pretty sure I was supposed to reapply in two to three or four weeks and I did not and they got me again. So let's take a look at this nectarine tree. This tree now has a bunch of bare branches because I'm assuming deer came and ate all the good leaves. Um, some of the fruit's still hanging on, so hopefully that'll make it to full maturity. But yeah, this, this tree has pretty much been cleaned out. Used to be pretty full, like how these branches at the top have leaves on all of them. All the branches used to look like that, and now they have been stripped. So I'm gonna, I put out some more of the deer repellent, and hopefully that is more of a deterrent, and I'm gonna try and do it on a bi-weekly basis. Um, peach tree still looks about the same as the last time the deer got it, with the bare bottom branches, but the top branch is doing okay. Um, and then I noticed that they also Got some of my Swiss chard. You see those teeth, those bites out of the leaves, bites out of the leaves. So, got a couple more examples. These used to be full leaves like these over here. And now they look like that. Um, have some cucumbers growing that are doing fine. Some little tiny bell peppers. Um, this blueberry bush just has leaves no fruit it had a cluster up here that's gone blackberry bush you can see some of the leaves have been stripped but there is a cluster of berries down there so we'll see if they survive <laughs> I've been having real a lot of fun growing these things but haven't really gotten to eat much so far um, that's another pepper plant that little orange pepper I think I'll probably harvest that in the next day or two I recently took a bunch of tomatoes off of all the tomato plants anything that was even semi red I took it off because something was pecking or biting into the tomatoes so I don't know if it was a bird or a rabbit but like five of them had holes in them so I said well anything that's ripe or almost ripe is coming off and we'll just have to find a way to use it um, Let's see, my mom's random compost patch that was growing a bunch of collard greens and cabbage, she pulled all that stuff up because it had bolted and she hadn't planned, planned on eating it. So um, she threw it down the hill. <laughs> um, and yeah, so now that's just random dirt back there. The story behind that is that last year when she was growing things, it wasn't going so well, so she threw them all into the pile. And then this year it started growing random stuff. Um, so we ate some of it, but overall just kind of let it do what it did. We did get some potatoes out of there. And you can see those up there. So we will be eating those. I'll take those into the house. Um, and then just you know, the watermelon melon plants are doing well. This plant had some red uh, tomatoes that I took off. There's a semi kind of orangish one there that I'll give another day or two. Hopefully nothing tries to get it. I got a bell pepper down there that's working its way towards being ripe. And then more watermelon. This pepper plant got robbed. You can see the leaves missing and bitten off. This poor little strawberry bush. My sister killed this strawberry plant and I brought it back to life. It was nice and green and fluffy and now it barely has a leaf in sight. So um, hopefully the little deer rabbit animal repellent that I put all over the ground around these plants works because they straight robbed us. We were robbed. It's quite sad. Um, this is cucumber growing in my mom's random little patch and even that didn't miss getting eaten around the edges that one right there by whatever creature came here 
we're thinking about putting out a camera back here so we can figure out what it is but we'll see um here's a closer look at these potatoes that we grew we didn't act me blaze and i my sister um we actually planted the potatoes and we didn't think that they were going to make it because the shoots that came up kind of just died randomly so we thought there were no potatoes but look at here full grown red potatoes so yeah super excited about that oh but this is the real bounty so some very ripe tomatoes one bell pepper banana peppers some not as ripe tomatoes but couldn't take a chance with the animals and then the biggest zucchinis that were on the plants so very excited about what's going on in the garden except for the animals eating things part um but hopefully we'll get better harvest come next month or in a couple weeks so i'll let y'all know